Le Paris-Dakar m'a procuré des plaisirs extrêmes et des émotions très fortes. Parce que lorsque vous êtes sur votre moto, seul dans un désert, euh, votre esprit et votre tête dans le casque, sous un casque, fait que euh, il m'est arrivé de sourire, de chanter, de siffler dans mon casque. Mais il m'est arrivé aussi de pleurer dans mon casque. Parce que euh, vous souriez de joie, d'allégresse. Vous souriez de ce plaisir intense. Et en même temps, vous souffrez. Vous avez des souffrances physiques, des moments d'épuisement, des souffrances morales. Et euh, aller dans le désert en moto, euh, j'ai voulu le faire parce que c'est comme si je mettais ma moto dans une navette spatiale avec la volonté d'aller faire de la moto sur une autre planète. Le désert, c'était mon autre planète. Et c'est ça qui m'a procuré aussi un plaisir extrême. was a competitor. In his mind, he was a racer. And we were competing with Italian brands, German brands, English brands. So it was difficult to demonstrate why our technology was better. And then the trail bikes arrived. And it was very innovative. So immediately Mr. Olivier understood that he had to play that game to make our brand more distinctive from the others. Now we said the Dakar, but it was the Paris Dakar. So it was starting from Paris, from the French capital. The symbol was strong. So if you were winning this race, it means that you were dominating the others in France. Because uh, one day Jean-Claude Olivier called me and he asked me if I'm interested to do the Dakar. I said for sure, this is my dream. I want to do this race. So I think it was a really strong image. You know the Yamaha Tenere at the beginning it was a monocylinder, just a 600cc monocylinder, and after we moved to the B-cylinder. So step by step, it was really step by step. Bigger and bigger faster and faster, and when I started to win the Dakar, it was only with a Super Tenere, so with a big, big bike. So the six victories was with a Super Tenere, not with a Tenere, but Tenere means adventure. Okay.